Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Here Comes the Sun, and today I'm going to show you how to create this floral invitation in Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, you can download it um, as a free trial, or you can subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud, which is a monthly payment, and you get a bunch of uh, Adobe products. Okay, so open up Illustrator, and you're going to go to File, New, choose a 5 by 7 or you can enter 5 inches by 7 inches over here and you want your bleed to be um, 0.125 all around and hit create. So what your bleed does, the bleed is the area between this red line and your white document here and what the bleed does is anything that's placed in that area as you can see here will get cut off and this is just to, um, this is if you have a uh, invitation with a colored background or if you have items like these flowers that you want to extend off the page and you don't want um, like a white border around your invitation. Sometimes you can get a funky white border. Um, so the bleed takes care of that and you're not going to have that um, white border around your invitation and everything's going to be cut perfectly. Okay, so we're going to start to place the floral, um, the flowers and the leaves onto the invitation. So you go to File, Place, and you're going to navigate to where you saved your um, floral clip art. So the clip art that I'm using is called Rosalie Clip Art and I got it from Creative Market and I will leave a link to it. So I am choosing this um, floral frame and so I'm going to click on it and then hit place. I'm going to come up here to the edge of my document and hit place. Okay, now the floral um, clip art is a lot bigger than our artboard so we need to resize it and we need to align it to our artboard so the first thing that um, I'm going to do is align it so if you come over here to the align tab and down here align to if you click it align to artboard and you're under align objects this one horizontal align center click that and then over here vertical align center click that now you still can't see it because we have to resize it because it's still a lot bigger than the artboard but right now it's um, at least it's centered so to resize it come over here to the properties tab and you can resize things here with the width and the height. Make sure um, this is checked to maintain the width and height proportions and I'm just going to change this to 8 and see what that does. That is pretty good except um, we have to rotate it. So go to object, transform, rotate, 90 degrees. Make sure this preview is, um, button is checked and then you can see what it's going to look like and hit OK. All right, so that's pretty good. Next, we are going to add the text. So the text tool is over here. It's called the type tool. Click on that and then come down here and this is where you um, make sure or change the color of your text. So if you double click, you can change it to whatever color. I'm going to use black and hit OK. Now over here in the Properties tab, I'm sorry, first you have to um, click. OK. Now over here in the Properties tab, you, have, you can change the font and the size and pretty much anything about the text. So I'm going to use a font called Idlewise and I'm going to put it at about 48 points. And then just come over here and click and edit your text. 
you're invited. And I'm just going to move it with the arrow keys. And one thing I want to show you about this text or this font is some fonts, they have um, special characters, like special glyphs. And in order to access those, it's under here in the glyphs panel. Um, so what you do is you click, get your text tool, and you click the letter that you want to change, and it'll show you if there's any um, different characters. So I want to choose that one for the Y and maybe see if there's anything for the um, D. Maybe this one. Nope. I kind of like the one that we had. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. All right. Now, if you go back to our um, this invitation, you can see a few more lines with that font. So I'm going to go ahead and do those right now. And all I do for that is I'm going to copy and paste. So a Command C and Command V, or Control C, Control V on a PC. And then again, just move your text with your arrow keys. And then just change the text to whatever you want. Again, there is one of those characters here. And I think I'm going to change it to that. Let's see what I had. Yeah. Actually, I didn't have that. I had, I had this one. But it really doesn't matter. It's whatever ever letter you want. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time. Copy paste, move it, and change this to my name. Okay, change that one. All right, next I'm going to add this text in this other font right here. And the font I used is called Champagnes and Limousines. So get your type tool again. Come over here to Properties. Champagne and Limousines. And I'm going to change it to a 24 point. And then I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the other lines of text, just copy and paste. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me do this in real time. All my text, I'm going to adjust each line on the page, and you could um, like align them and center them, but sometimes with the um, the alternate glyphs, it gets kind of funky. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. And again, I'm just moving the text with my arrow keys. Again, I'm going to speed this up. And if you wanted to use the align function to align the text, all you would do is select all your text, like so, holding down the shift key while you select, and then come over here to the Align tab and make sure it's on Align to Selection. 
and hit horizontal align center and then you'll get perfectly aligned text just make sure it's on the align to selection because the last time we used this tool it was on align to artboard okay so the final step is I'm going to place these flowers and leaves in um, around my name so to do that I'm going to just repeat the process that I did at the beginning go to file place and let's see let's just choose this one I think that's what it was and place it right there now again I'm gonna align this to the artboard so come over here to the align and click artboard and horizontal align center and then vertical align center and then we're going to resize it under properties and oops whoop whoop nope 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 command Z to get out of that I wanted eight inches and that's still way too big so how about one inch and that's still a little bit too big so you see I just kind of um, it's trial and error to see how big these should be okay now I'm gonna go to file place and we're gonna add some greenery and I believe I'll add this one place and we're gonna do the same exact thing align to artboard center horizontal center vertical center and then we're gonna resize it and then move it with your arrow key and then you're going to go up to object transform reflect oops cancel that first we want to make a copy command C command V and then object transform reflect okay and I'm just gonna move it on to this side okay now we want to make sure that the leaves um, the stems of the leaves are behind this flower so in order to do that come over to the layers panel and make sure that the layer that your flower is on is above the layer that your stems are on that way the stems um they'll be behind the flower and they'll look right and so now what we have to do is group those layers together so if you come over here in your layer panel you can select each one and hit command g to group and then command c command v to make a copy and bring it down right underneath the name and then with this one we're, we're going to just rotate it so if you just click by the corner and drag drag around that's how you rotate or you can also go up to um, object object transform rotate you can do it that way as well so we're almost done I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit and that looks pretty good 
And now to save your work, you just go File, Save As, and come down here. First, I would save it as an Illustrator file, and then I would also save it as a PDF file. And I also save mine as JPEGs. In order to do that, go to File, Export, Export As, and you can come down here and choose JPEG. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe, and you can find more tutorials on my blog, herecomesthesunblog.net. Thanks.